Hello guys, welcome again to KGB Talkies and this is Ishwar Anjana here and today I am here with an amazing video that how can we send data to a cloud using an board. So here we are using CC3200, a Wi-Fi board powered by Texas Instrument and a cloud. We have so many options in cloud like IBM Watson's car, Thingispeaks, but here we are using Thingispeak. So let me first introduce what these clouds are. So these clouds generate a graphical data like I have taken for example here. The first two are temperature, then humidity and pressure. In these um, graphs, it's um, update its value corresponding to date. So our task is here. We have an inbuilt temperature sensor that is connected to our microcontroller through I2C protocol. And all we want is to read the temperature, um, temperature sensor reading and send it to the cloud that is thing is peak and generate a graphical view of that. So let's start with, the, uh, with this. So to uh, start with a uh, thing is peak, all you need to do is just to go on the thing is peak site and create an account. I have already created my account. So I just need to sign in here. When you first log in to your account, you will see this screen. We have so many options here like channel, apps, community support. So all you need is to create a new channel. So what is this channel? I have already created so many channels. When you click on new channel, like uh, here you can give a name to your channel. I am giving Tapman. And here you can write any comment if you want to do. And um, here, uh, here we have add field. You can select as many you want and just click on save channel. After saving this channel, you will get the, uh, a field like this. We have, uh, I have selected only one field. And here we have also so many options like share. We can share it and pri uh, uh, private view, public view and API keys. In API key, we have options like um, update and get channel feed. Even we can read data from the cloud also. And you should copy uh, this uh, key. Uh, we would require this key in our code. And that's it. We are done with Thingispeak. Now all you need to do is write a program for this. I have already written a program for this. And link of this program is given below of this video. And so let's uh, start with this program. So this all are the libraries that we need to include and after that this is our thingispeak site and this is the api key that we copied from our channel and we have a unique api key for every channel and after that here you can uh, change the time interval between the updates and uh, after that you need to create an hot spot from your mobile and you need to put that hot spot ssid here and uh, here you need to put password and after that, uh, it is uh, we are init uh, initiating our uh, Wi-Fi and this all our Wi-Fi setting. And uh, here we are initiating our temperature uh, sensor. And this is serial dot begin 115200. It's our baud rate for our serial monitor. You can click on your uh, top right of your uh, ID to uh, uh, check your uh, serial monitor baud rate. And you need to set your board rate there same uh, as it is and after that here uh, we have um, serial dot print attempting to connect it will show that your board is trying to connect to the internet and after that it will display your hotspot name and uh, here we have uh, an infinite loop if uh, your uh, hotspot is, uh, uh, is not connected then uh, it will keep uh, continue in uh, in this loop and if it is connected, so it will uh, go to the next. And here we have loop. Uh, if temperature dot begin, uh, it will uh, initialize our temperature sensor. And if there is no temperature sensor found, then it will again uh, uh, put in uh, an infinite loop. And after uh, that, you will see that you are connected to a network and uh, it will generate the IP address of your network. 
uh, and here it will uh, print on serial monitor that IP address obtained. And this all were the part of void setup. And now we are moving toward void loop. Void uh, loop and in, uh, it's an by default infinite loop of an energy ID. And here we have first a while loop. And um, in while loop, its condition uh, is cl uh, client dot available. If there is incoming data from the uh, net uh, or not, it will check that. After that, we have if loop and it will check that if client is not connected and it was connected last time. So it will uh, show you that you are disconnecting now. And after that, here we are reading the temperature sensor value and uh, assigning it to a float variable. And uh, now we are reading temperature sensor value in degree Celsius and again assigning to a, a new a float variable. And now we are assigning that variable value to our field one of our channel in thingy speed. And uh, here we have a function that is avoid update thingy speak and it will upload this field one value to our cloud. And um, if you have any doubt in this program, so please, please, please comment below. We will come back to you as soon as possible. And after that, uh, go to tool and check that you have selected right board and right com port and just click on upload. It will take some time to upload this program. And here you can check on your serial monitor that we are send, uh, sending data to the cloud and sensing from temperature sensor. So now let's check to our cloud. Uh, it will take minimum 15 seconds to update its value. So just wait for some time. And uh, And here we go. If you like this video, so please click on like button. And if you have any doubts, so please comment below. See you again. Tata.